Hey you guys, back again with another video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. How's everybody doing? I hope y'all doing well. Welcome, welcome to my new and returning subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, You don't really have to give birth to a child to be a mother but you know but not you know mother's day is for anybody who's taking care of or raising children whether they adopt it whether they you know consider you know um they niece or nephews they children but anyway they child but anyhow i'm in here making my mother's day cake now i don't think i made this on my channel before but um yeah this is i'm making me a some coffee cake with peaches and cream cheese yummy 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 so let's get started oh how am i forget that okay okay we're gonna need two cups of flour, two cups of flour. <clears throat> Happy Mother's Day. Again, you don't have to use gluten-free flour. You can use, um, what's that other flour? Um, the gold metal flour. I'm pretty sure there's more other flours out there, but yeah. Flowers, that's F. <laughs> Not flowers like plant, you know, flowers like bacon flour. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Two cups, spooned and level. I saw what I just did. I spooned and leveled it. Okay. One cup of white sugar. Get, get to the money. Granulated sugar. One cup plus two tablespoons okay one teaspoon of salt okay you mix all your ingredients in we're going to add the butter next. So you need a stick. One fourth. A stick and one fourth. So that's, a quarter, that's three fourth cups of butter. Unsalted butter. That's what y'all want to use. Unsalted butter. So I'm going to cut up. I'm going to cut these up. Make sure that it's cold and firm. You know. Okay. I don't want to use my food processor because I, I don't want to dirty nothing else. Sometimes you just got to use your hands. You want it to um, resemble like 
crumbs. That's what you want to do now. If you have one of those hand blenders, you can use that, or you can use a fork, or you can even use your food processor. I don't feel like using that, you know? But this is going to be a lot of, of this. Yeah, I could have used it. I could have. But I didn't want to dirty nothing else. No appliances. So you want it to, like I said, you want it to look like crumbs. Mmm, smell that butter. Mm -hmm. But if you use the food processor, um, you should make sure your, which you call it is melt, I mean frozen. Like how you would make biscuits. Mmm, buttery, buttery. Don't worry, y'all. My hands are clean. Don't worry, because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be doing this. Okay, it's starting to look like something here. It's starting to look like something. This smells nice. It smells nice. Then you want to take a cup of this and put to the side. Ooh. A cup of this to the side. Okay. Just making sure all the butter is, you know, crumbed up. <laughs> crumbed up. Wash my hands, wash my hands. Oh. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna take a cup of this. Put to the side, one cup to the side, to the left, y'all. Let me move this over here. Okay, one cup to the side. Okay, now here, you're going to add your bacon soda, bacon powder. Okay, bacon soda, bacon powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. Corn free. Okay. Baking soda. Hmm. Mm. A half a cup of baking soda. Three fourth cup of buttermilk at room temperature. Three fourth cup of milk. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Three. Okay. Um. One egg. This is equivalent to one egg. Even though I can use, um, I can eat egg whites, but I don't 
really bake with it, like in my, my cakes and stuff. I, I didn't start back with that yet. Um, one large egg. Then you're going to mix this. We're going to mix this. One more thing. Vanilla extract. Pure vanilla extract. Two. Let me see. Two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. Now, if we want to get fancy, fancy, fancy. Oh. I want to get fancy fancy I can use vanilla bean paste if I want to but I'm not getting fancy today like the cream cheese and the peach is already going to make it fancy so we're going to mix this Sorry if y'all was listening to this with headphones. <laughs> I should have said, okay, we're gonna let this mix with blend. I'm gonna mix this for two minutes. Thick. This do resemble frosting. Okay, so we done this part. This is the batter part. Even though this is called coffee cake, mm, there's no coffee in it. Sorry, but there's no coffee in it. So this is the one cup that I put aside. One cup that I put aside. Okay, now. You are going to add brown sugar. This is like, this is for the topping. So, you want to add some brown sugar. <laughs> I can't. Every time I say brown sugar, I think about Martin on Bad Boys. You got any brown sugar? <laughs> oh, man. So, you know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's three, four cups of brown sugar. Okay. Okay. Two tablespoons of ground sugar. I mean ground sugar, ground cinnamon, sorry, I don't know. Two tape two teaspoons. I don't know. Two tablespoons would be too much for me. I don't know. If I eat too much cinnamon, I don't know. I start getting the itchies. So here you go. This is for the ooh. I like cinnamon, but just can't eat too much of it. Wait a minute. Hold on. My bad, y'all. I was supposed to put two third cups of light brown sugar. Instead, I put three fourth cups. So I was doing the math in my head and I was saying, okay, so in one, oh, sorry, in one fourth cup. So this is equivalent to five tablespoons here. So if I would have used two of these, that would have been 10 tablespoons. But instead, I did three fourth cups so that's just like maybe 12 an extra two tablespoons of brown sugar so it was really two third i don't know oh maybe the three fourth was because of the um the buttermilk but you normally you're supposed to put two third cups of light brown sugar instead i put two third cups of light brown sugar that's equivalent to 10 tablespoons instead i put three fourths 
that's equivalent to 12. So we only add two extra um, tablespoons over. That's not bad. Oh, I don't know where I got it. And it's crazy. I got the recipe right here, and, I'm, and I still saw one take. I don't know. Three-fourth? I don't know. Three-fourth? I don't know. It's okay. You know? It's not too big of a, you know, difference. It's just over two table, two tablespoons. Not going to beat myself up off of that because let me tell you this. It's still going to get eaten. It sure is. <laughs> okay, so this is the filling. No, this is the topping. I'm going to do the filling now. This this seems like I don't know. It seems like it's more harder when you record. I don't know. Now this is the cream cheese part. I don't eat much cream cheese, but I'm treating myself. It's Mother's Day. I'm making this video the day before Mother's Day, so but y'all gonna see this on Mother's Day. So this is one of my recent video because y'all know I pre-record my videos right okay so one one bar of cream cheese it don't matter the brand sometimes it do if it's if, if they had one that was on sale I would have been like okay like two for five <laughs> I think this one is five dollars is it $5? I don't know. Okay. Oh. Maybe I should have had two blocks of the cream cheese. Mm. Read your pan, guys. Grease your pan. When you baking, you're supposed to preheat your oven. But I don't have to preheat my oven right now because this oven that I'm using is it, it heats fast. That's the good thing about it. It it, it don't take five ten minutes to preheat. You know, it takes minutes to preheat, and that's a you know good thing. Because a whole 10 minutes can be long, but yeah. And it gets hot quick, so that's a good thing. So you can grease your pan. You can use butter. You can use um, flour. Spray pan. You know, spray. What do they call it? The spray oil. You know. But yeah, you can use oil. I'm, I prefer butter. For this one, you know, certain things you use butter for certain things. Certain things. Okay. Uh oh. So we're going to add. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What is this going on? Okay. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Okay. Let's get this in here. So you're going to add everything. I'm not going to preheat the oven yet until I finish this. I put the last touches on. So yeah. My mother texting me. Is that her? It's my mother. Like how Nick say it's Nancy. I'm saying it's my mother. Okay. I don't know. You gotta get this off. Oh. Oh. Tell me bacon is not a neat um hobby or a neat task. You sometimes you're gonna make some messes. Oh man. Hold on. Mm -mm. 
Okay. Okay. So when you use the brown sugar, it's two third cups, not three fourths. Okay. Okay. Now. This is gotta spread this across so it can be even, even, Steven. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to use two things of, what, 16 ounces, you can. 16 ounces of, well, that's a lot of cream cheese, though. You know, one is, is enough. One is enough. So, the cream cheese do, looks like, do look like the frost, and it do. Ugh. I'm telling you, when you bake, it's not perfect, like. Or pretty and everything. It's messy. It is messy. Okay. Now. I'm going to put a little bit of this. On the top here. This is all going to bake. In the oven. You want to coat. Wait. Some of these brown sugar. Be hard. Some of it be hard. Okay. Okay, the next step, the third step, is the peaches. Now, don't come for me, y'all, because I'm using canned peaches. I used to, I use fresh piece of peaches, but I don't even know if they're in season now. But yeah, I'm using, I'm using canned peaches because it's convenient. Much easier for me. I'm not using all the peaches, so we're just gonna take enough to. Cover the top of this. To cover the top of the, you know, this top in here. So I, what is this in? Oh, heavy syrup. Make sure I, it has no corn syrup in it. So I'm gonna put it all around, and I'll be back. Okay. I used fresh peaches before. I didn't care too much for it. So this is how I do mine, my kitchen, my way, your kitchen, your way. I prefer this is already cut and everything and peeled and everything and everything and everything. Now I can add the, um, I can put, I can preheat my oven now. Oh, wait, no, it's not plugged in yet. <laughs> okay. And we're going to put the remainder of the toppings. Over this, over this. I think the last time I did this, I didn't, um, I don't know. I think I put all the layers. I don't know if I put the cream cheese. Is that, who is that calling? Who is that texting me? So, and this is how I make my coffee cake. Um, I don't even have a name for this. This is how I make, oh, let me preheat that oven. This is how I make my coffee cake. There's no coffee in it, but you can have it with coffee. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of these. I'm, I'm going to, mm, I don't know what I'm going to do with the juice, but I know I'm going to freeze these peaches. Probably for another coffee cake. This is what I had a taste for for Mother's Day. So I'm treating myself. I don't make cake all the time y'all I don't 
may, it may look like I am because of my videos. Like I said, my videos are pre-recorded. But it is May 11th, but y'all going to see this on May 12th. And also, once again, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And you didn't, you don't have to give birth to a child to be considered a mother. And even the fathers, you know, are raising their children without a mother, you know, whether their mother passed or whatever. But the father is stepping up. So happy, for, happy Mother's Day to all that are a, 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 a parent figure, a mother figure, you know, a parent figure. And also, Mother's Day is every day. Okay, every time I wake up, I'm a mother, mother. <laughs> oh, that feels weird saying I'm a mother and when my mother's alive. Oh, oh, it's weird saying mother. My, my son calls me mama, but I call my mother, mother. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, looks weird with, with the light off. Okay, so this is going to bake for like. Between 50 to 58 minutes on 350. So I'm probably going to come back in another video and show y'all the finished product. Okay? Okay. Oh, and then I got to let it um rest and all that stuff before I come. So I'm going to come back in another video because after I this comes out the oven, you got to let it sit for two hours. And what time is it? Echo? Echo. What time is it? The time is 6.36 p.m. As long as it takes this thing to say something. I could have looked at my phone and I forgot I got this device right here. It has the time right on it too. But I wanted y'all to hear what time it was. So it's 6.37 p.m. It just changed. So this is going to bake for almost an hour. You know, depending on your oven. You got to watch it, you know. Because some ovens take longer to bake. Some ovens, you know, you know, take short time. So... Oh, this thing is heavy. So, yeah. Ramona's. I got to come up with a name for this. Ramona's peaches and cream. Well, technically it is cream because I use cream cheese. So, Ramona's peaches and creams coffee cake. Ow! I just came with a ah! Oh, go me. Oh, it's counting down. Okay. Okay. We're going to put it to 50 minutes right now. And I'm going to check it, you know. 50 minutes. So I don't even have to set a timer because my um device over here, I said device, my um, which I'm going to call it, has the timer on it. So, all right, y'all, I'll be back to show y'all the finished product and I'll, I'll come back in another video to cut it because it's going to, it's going to be, I have to wait two hours to cut it and it'll be ridiculous to have this phone pause for two hours plus why it's baking now. So... Yeah, so it's going to bake for almost an hour, you know, give or take 10 minutes, you know. Um, yeah. So I'm going to clean up now. And I'm glad this. <laughs> so I'm going to come back in another video, cut it for you guys. Um, sit down and eat it and enjoy it. I forgot to get some ice cream. I usually eat ice cream with this. Hmm. Because I don't want to drink no coffee or... I don't drink coffee, but... I don't drink no, um, I don't want tea with it because it's sweet already. Anywho, I'll be back when I, when it's ready to take it out the oven. And also, thank God that this phone is letting me be great today. Record longer videos. I did something on this phone for it to make space. One time it said 47 minutes. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> okay. Okay. So when I come back. Um, 50 minutes or an hour would have passed. Okay, y'all. 50 minutes has passed. We are going to check to see if this is done. You know what? I need to get one of those um, those skewers you use at barbecues, you know, to see if this is done. We're going to check to see if it's done. But I think I'm going to put it back in the oven for another five minutes. Oh, no. Let's put it in the middle. Oh. Oh, that's, oh. Hmm. I believe it's done, guys. And that was 50 minutes, y'all. 50 minutes, y'all. So this is going to have to sit here for an hour. 
I mean, two hours. I'm going to have to let this sit here for two hours, y'all, to cool off. And it rose, too. That's right. I forgot that it rose. Oh, look at that. Mm, happy Mother's Day, guys. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you care. Hit that notification bell to be notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, blessed, love, peace, and hair grease. Love, peace, and all that good stuff. I love y'all. Yes. So, oh, don't mind this, y'all. I, I wash the dishes. You know, this is all the stuff I use. I meant to move it before I hit record. But to be safe, y'all, I'm going to put it back in the oven for five minutes to be safe. To be safe, you know. I don't want to cut it because, you know, once you take the cake out the oven too long, you know, it won't um finish cooking. So, yeah, I'm going to let it do its thing for five minutes. Okay? So, it'll be a total of 55 minutes to be safe, you know. Just to be safe. All right, y'all. Bye. I'll come back in another video and once it's been sitting for two hours and, you know, I cut a slice and I'll, um, how you say it? Take a bite. I'm probably going to have it with milk. All right, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye.